Hi guys, well welcome to my office. Some of you have seen this, some of you haven't. I have rearranged some things. I would say probably around the beginning of the year, I think I talked about it. I think I actually mentioned it in a video that I may film in here once in a while because I have a nice big window in front of me. Um, and it's not always ideal in the bedroom and I've mentioned this before that sometimes it really, because of the lighting and just, you know, oh, is the bed half made? Which obviously I don't make it all the time. I've mentioned that to you guys too. Things like that it actually can like put me in, you know, a mood where I don't want to film. I miss the days of in one of our spare bedrooms where I could just walk in, lighting was set up all the time and just film. Although it wasn't always perfect lighting in there either because there was one small window in it faced uh, the north side of the house. Those of you who make videos know lighting is like one of those things that's always driving you crazy. So natural lighting is always best, so that's what I have right now. So there may be like a little bit of a glare um, because it is a big window, but sometimes it's just easy because this is where I sit all day and you know sometimes it's like flip on the camera, good to go. So anyway, welcome to my office. Today's video, honestly, I could just sit and chit chat about all kind of things because there's all kind of things going on in my mind, but I thought I would show you, I have a few new things from Stella and Dot, as most of you know, or maybe you don't yet. Um, we launched our fall preview line, which means that there's always a few pieces from the next upcoming line. We launch it about a month, month and a half before. So the actual fall line will come out later in July but we always have like a few sneak peeks. So if you follow me on Instagram or Stella Dot on Instagram or you follow my Facebook, which I definitely recommend follow my Stella Dot Facebook because um, like I just gave a pair, a pair of sunglasses away on there. Like, you know, I put style inspiration pictures. Um, I tried to, to not totally flood my Instagram with all Stella Dot. Um, but I know a lot of you like to see it, a lot of like to see outfits. But anyway, I recommend following that because I'm gonna do a sample sale um, to make room for the new collection probably later on this month, early July, and you'll want to be following me there so you can know when it is. Um, you know, it's not necessarily I don't like things anymore, it's just you gotta make room. That's life as a stylist, is you're always, you know, getting new pieces to show, and sometimes you just gotta, you know, get rid of some of it, and it's at a great cost to you guys then. It'll be like 50 and 60% off. So, I'm gonna show you the few pieces that I got. I know already I'm seeing the orders come in, what you guys are liking. I mean, it looks really pretty. The fall line to me is always like one of the best. I'm really excited about it. So I didn't wear anything um, a whole lot today, just some normal jewelry, because I'll show you that those few pieces and then some makeup that I have not shown you I've actually had for a couple months I feel so bad that I have not shown it in a haul um, really I just keep forgetting it was always sitting there so then that leads me into you know a lot of us that make videos we get a lot of things sent to us and we can't possibly use everything or maybe we already have something so I'm gonna do a giveaway and what I'm probably gonna do is split it up into two different packages possibly and that way you guys can enter both or enter whichever one you want because I think it's a lot if I just do one. So there's a few things that I always know when companies send me or maybe it's from a birch box or glossy box, those things that, you know, subscription boxes. I just know right away the colors maybe won't work for me, but it may work for some of you. And I would hate for it to just sit there and you guys not be able to try it as well. Um, and then again, some products I just know I'm not going to use. So I'm going to go through some of those things that I'm going to be giving away. Um, but I just wanted to touch on, I showed in a recent haul where um, Estee Lauder, the new Estee Edit collection, they were nice enough to send me some things and I showed this bronzer. So I did use it today. Um, and like you know, we expect that little place right there. It's just a little, it was an overspray kind of paint splatter look. Um, but it's really pretty. It's light medium. To me, sometimes it looks really dark. Um, I think I got a place on my neck that I needed to blend out a little bit better. It was one of those, as soon as you put it on, it kind of grabbed. But it is very pretty um, and I do like it. And I love the size, so that's really great. So I just wanted to update you on that. Um, a couple of products though from that line that I know I won't be using just because they won't work for me. There was the Flash Illuminator um, and this is in the color, it says Daylight, but I know it's going to be too dark for me so I would rather one of you guys be able to use it. It's just a great um, 
in a nice pump. A liquid illuminator would be great for the summer. So for those of you more medium to darker skin tones, this would be fantastic for you. I just know when I see something like that, it's probably not gonna work for me. So I'm happy to pass that on. And then also um, the blackest liner. I've gotten a lot of eyeliners lately and I don't wear a lot of liquid liners as much as I used to. Um, so I haven't used that at all. So you'd be getting that. It's like one of those really uh, wide ones. And that's just in the color black. I do, however, want to share what's on my lips real quick because I'm absolutely loving this combo and I'm just all about an easy lip. Um, anyway, so I have this liner from Marc Jacobs. This is the one in Primrose, I believe. I still have this really small one. Um, I don't see the color. I think it is Primrose. It's the Marc Jacobs liner. It looks like that. You guys have all seen um, me talk about this before. And then I have it on, this is something new. I believe I have Rose Elixir is one of the other colors that I absolutely love. And it's funny because it's so, it's like probably halfway down, one of my most used lip colors It lives in my purse. But this is from L'Oreal and it's the, um, it says Pop Balm, but have they always been called Pop Balm? I thought they were just like Balm or La Balm, but they come in the packaging that looks like this. And this is in the color 518 Tender Mauve. I know it's not gonna focus on that because of the glare, but anyway, it's just this beautiful mauve color. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand, but again, I am wearing it. Um, it looks darker maybe in here, but it's a beautiful, you can just tell like pop of bright berry color. And I mean, I love the pigmentation of these and you can see the shine and the gloss maybe even on um, my lips, but it gives nice full, but yet, not too full kind of sheer but glossy look i just absolutely love these like i said that other one's more of like a corally peach color but this is so pretty i've worn it um with a couple of different liners but this liner with it is my favorite right now again just a really nice pop um to the lips if you're wondering i do have on that sephora airbrush foundation i did a tutorial on that i probably didn't use as much as i should have in that um, this I used a little bit more. Again, let me see if I can get up close. Just like absolutely flawless finish. It's a little drying, I feel like, um, you know, because you get that really great finish, but just really, really um, pretty. Again, I'm not gonna go through everything, but I did wanna show some of these sleek items. And this is what I've had sitting here for like at least a couple of months. Um, there's an eyebrow pencil. I am gonna try this just because it's in the color light and it looks like it'd probably work for me and I love trying out eyebrow pencils. It's that um, great, you know, pointed one that a lot of people have been coming out with lately, Anastasia, that's my favorite one. Actually, now that I'm looking at it though, it looks light, but it almost looks like it'd be too dark. So I lied, I'm gonna throw this in too. <laughs> and it has the spoolie on the end. So hopefully one of you will love it. It says light, but it looks like it could be a little warm um, for me. So there's that. And then look at all these. They gave me all these great lipsticks and I'm only gonna keep a couple. So you guys will be getting that. And then I'm not keeping either one of these. They sent me like a highlighting palette and a blush palette. These are both gorgeous, but again, they're just not gonna work for me. I have opened them, but I have not used them. This one's called um, Precious Metals. It's the highlighting palette. And if you're not familiar with Sleek, I have owned several of their blush palettes. They're really great packaging. Um, this is just so pretty. But again, I know I'm not going to use it because it has some cream highlighters plus some powder in there. It's gorgeous. I just know it's not something I would use, so I would rather pass it on to you guys. And here's their um, Blush by 3 palette. This is in the color Lace. And again, these are absolutely gorgeous colors. This one's their typical black packaging. Has the little, I mean, look how beautiful those are. But I mean, come on, you could tell with my skin tone, they're not gonna work. They're just too bright and they're too warm for me being that they're orangey corals. They would look great on somebody with a medium to deep skin tone. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could pull them off, but I can't. So for the lipstick colors, I'm not going to swatch them um, because I, you know, obviously I don't want them to be ruined for you all. But I did slightly peel the sticker up just so I could get to them. So this one's in the color Backstage. It's just a really pretty corally color. Love that. But again, I'm going to pass that on. These have a really nice scent too. Um, it's vanilla, but not like overpowering. 
The next one is a bright orange. It's called Flaunt It. Again, there's no way this would work for me, but on someone it will look beautiful. So there's that one. And then the next one, I'm kind of on the fence about keeping this one. Um, it's called Guest List. It's really pretty, but again, I don't know. No, I'm not gonna keep that one. It's not gonna work for me, so there's no sense in keeping that. I think these were the three I was maybe on the fence about. So this is called Night Spot. And this one sadly came with a little bit of the top smashed, although it's not in the tip. So I'm not sure how that happened or why, but it's not been used. So it's just a really pretty bright, like orangey red. And then these two I absolutely love. Um, this one's called Private Booth and it's just a really pretty nude pink. I'm definitely keeping that because that looks right up my alley. So looking forward to using that one. And then this one is called Reserved, and I thought this was gorgeous too. It's just a really pretty bright pink. I feel like they're coming up, I'm, that's why I'm looking at them back this way, because I feel like with the glare, they're coming up a little brighter, but maybe not. I mean, that's pretty true to color, actually. But anyway, so there's all of that. And then I wanted to mention, I got in, I think, a BoxyCharm or... I don't know, one of those subscription boxes that I get. The Makeup Geek Blush, um, if you follow, follow me on Instagram, I always post when I get new boxy charm or glossy box, what's inside there, and like what I'm most excited about trying. This Makeup Geek Blush, one, the packaging is so sleek and beautiful. I love, it has a little magnetic closure. I mean, stunning packaging. This is in the color XOXO. I was so looking forward to using this, and I have used it once but it's too bright on me. It's really, really pigmented, which is great, but just too much for me. It was one of those, you have to use such a light hand and really make sure that you do not place it down. Um, you know, so somebody from my light skin tone, it's almost a little too much to work with. It's an awesome peachy coral though. I mean like stunning. It's not what I have on um, today, but love it. But sadly, I'm gonna give this away. So I have used this once, but I mean, it's like, brand new. Then I have this little thing. I got something when I bought something from Benefit. It came with this little thing. and I've just been like piling up the goodies in here. So I mean there's like a shower gel and um what is this like a shimmering bath or body thing. I mean there's lotions, there's eyeliners, lip glosses, there's like a little mini roller lash from Benefit, um, a powder, another eyeliner, so all kind of things. There's uh, another mascara that I get, you know, from those boxes that I just think, you know, I'm probably not gonna try that or I've already tried it before, but um, maybe it'd be fun for you guys to win this. So I can't decide if I want to do one winner for everything. Maybe I just will. Maybe I'll just do one winner. How does that sound? Because if I split it up, I wouldn't know how exactly I wanted to split it up for it to be fair. So anyway, we'll just do one winner. The link will be below how you can enter. Okay, on to the Stella and Dot items. I wanted to talk about a couple of my favorites so far, and yes, I have new favorites already. So this is, this is what I was most excited about. Um, this is the Nomad stretch bracelets. And if you liked our artisan stretch bracelets, which were the black and they have a little bit of turquoise, you probably can't see them real close, but they are uh, back there on my bookshelf. You're gonna love these because these are like a creamy white, but they also have that hematite. They have a little bit of gold, but then they also have little flecks of silver throughout as well. And I feel like that, glare is it's wanting to focus on me and not these so hopefully maybe i'll put in a close-up if i can but i mean you get three of them love these i'm super excited about these i love stretch bracelets because i have a really small wrist um and they fit great but then they also fit if you have a larger wrist so that's what's great about them so that's what those look like absolutely love these super excited again those are the nomad stretch bracelets and i'll link all this below the next one is the quinn cuff and I like this because, and I liked it even better when I saw it in person. I love that it's that brushed gold, almost like the brassy, excuse me, brassy looking gold. But I love this. Look, it's like one bracelet, but it fans out. So it kind of looks like you have more than one cuff. Love that. And you can actually wear it open or this way. So I'll show you. And it looks great uh, with the Nomad stretch bracelet. So there's that one. Again, this is the Quinn cuff. Just so simple and pretty. Again, look like you have many 
bracelets. You could flip it around if you like the open side, but really love that. Again, like I said, when I saw it in person, I just thought, you know what? That's really cute. I like that even more than I thought. And then I have two necklaces. So this is something that has been super, super popular already. We have um, a new delicate engravable. Now, I didn't get one because I couldn't decide what I wanted on it. Um, you can also just get them plain, that looks cute. But what's great about them is they're longer and thinner. So you can put more things on them if you want. So those have been super popular. They come in gold and silver. But what looks great with it, and I was really excited about this, this is our new Lariat necklace. And this is actually called the Triangle Lariat necklace. And I got it in silver. They're extremely dainty and delicate. And I got it in silver because I wear the sideways cross a lot that I have on right now. This would look great with it. So it just comes, you know, one piece like this. And again, this is very dainty and delicate. It just has a little triangle piece on the end and then it has the long piece here and then you just seriously thread it through there. And then you can wear it however you like. You know, you can wear it up as a choker because I know that's really pop popular or you can wear it more delicate. I'll put it on so you can see it here. So I'll probably wear it about here. So when I have a v-neck like this on, see it just hangs right there and then the rest of it's here and you could even like put this down in your shirt if you wanted or of course you can adjust it, you know, wear it lower or you can pull it all the way up if you want and wear it like that. So it's totally up to you. And then you could also, if you're worried about it, you know, coming through or something, you could loop it again and almost make like a knot. So if you want it to like stay at a certain place. So I'm just gonna leave that on. So that's super cute. And again, I love how delicate and thin it is. And again, that com comes in gold. The next one has been so cute. I've seen it on other stylists so much already. And this is going to be one of our most popular right tell. This is the quill layering necklace. And it actually has matching earrings that can be worn several different ways. I didn't get them. I may end up getting them. I'm not sure. So that this is what this looks like. It's a gold finish. It's two different necklaces. And of course, what Stellan Dot is known for is versatility. So you can wear them just this little thin one with this hanging down. Or of course, you can wear this by itself or them together. So I love that this has it's kind of almost like that horse bit kind of detail here. And then they match perfectly with our arc pendant. So if you have the arc pendant, you know that little bone kind of um, marbling looking detail, that's exactly what this is. And again, I'll be sure to list all that um, below. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it was a little something different. It was just very casual and easy for me. I like sitting in here. It just feels very like easy going. Let me know if you guys like it. I can't promise I'll always be in here. I know a lot of you like the bedroom because you like seeing behind it and I get so many compliments on the bed and the bedding. Thank you so much. Um, but it's just, you know, fun to change things up um, every now and then. I probably should do like a little tour because I've gotten some new lamps and moved that bookcase in here. This has been all over my house, I think at one point or another. And um, I just decided to house a lot of my jewelry on it so I could see it, you know, and wear it. Just something pretty. I love looking at it every morning I come into the office. So anyway, thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Oh, before I forget, I do have a mystery hostess trunk show still going on. I opened it a couple of weeks ago. Um, so that link will be below. So if you wanna shop through that, Lots of Stella and Dot stuff going on right now. We have Dot Dollars still going on. So for those of you not familiar with that, Dot Dollars is where you spend $50 uh, and then you earn $25 to spend later. So that's an awesome promotion. We only do it twice a year. So Dot Dollars is still going on until the 17th, I believe. Mr. Hostess Trunk Show is still going on. For those of you who aren't familiar with that, um, basically any purchase you make over $25, your name goes into a pot to win the raffle, which are the hostess rewards. Um, they've been as high as like $750 before. If they're real, real high, I usually split them between two people. So that's also going on. So be sure to use that link if you want to shop. I'll also put the giveaway link for the makeup below. So again, thank you guys for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day and we'll see you later. Bye.